and this guy says it's been 12 days since March 23rd seven hours ago of transfer problem and then he has over 7,500 pending or processing deposit that Voyager will not allow them to touch imagine the frustration transfer pending for five and a half days please help any idea why your team will block me i reached out for help but ended up blocked and very nervous this girl also says yeah they blocked me from my other account anyone who complains about their withdrawal not going through get blocks super unethical All right, guys, this is not a hate video, but I am going to tell you the reason why I will never ever use Voyager again to buy any Ether or Bitcoin and why you should not. Now, Voyager is not a bad app. It is a great app to buy and sell crypto, but not to transfer. If you want to take advantage of the daily changes in prices and when you find low cap gym, grab them. Voyager is not a great way why this is coinbase and on my coinbase dashboard i have been tracking excellent gyms such as these two that i wanted to buy like these three that i really wanted to buy and as you can see for example for statera it's been tremendously increasing in the past 24 hours i have bought it on voyager two weeks ago and now i requested the transfer on my ether right here as you see almost one thousand dollar ether but then it's been since march 29 at 11 42 a.m and it's still pending nobody has approved my transfer and i have never received my transfer on my coinbase wallet meaning that i am unable to take advantage of the fluctuating prices in this low cap gym cryptos and this is so frustrating because this is march 31st and it's 9 46 pm two days after and more voyager has still not approved my transfer and has still not sent my ether and if i go on my coinbase wallet it's still i have not received anything it's still 20 dollars whereas i have requested the transfer of 0.51 ether so frustrating and the same happened with bit this bitcoin withdrawal is that when i requested on march 24th i received actually the transfer on my wallet on march 26 two days after so this is a lesson for anybody to think about transferring that to another wallet to take advantage of the low cap gym that you find and the prices this is not the apt to go i will suggest use coinbase because as soon as coinbase approves your transfer your bank transfer you're able to do whatever you want with your crypto transfer that wherever you want in a matter of minutes here it's march 29th and today is april 3rd five days after my ethereum was still not sent imagine the frustration now i just want to show you proof from other people that the app is not what people think it is necessarily in terms of transferring or withdrawing your crypto okay so beware he tried to withdraw ethereum and then it's been 36 hours now let me show you something else since it's been it's been five days what i actually did is that i made a tweet okay i made this tweet about an hour ago saying that it's outrageous it's been five days that i requested the transfer of my ethereum to my coinbase wallet and it's still pending what do you do with people ethereum please fix fix this and asking people to retweet this what happened is that the ceo of voyager if you look here he's the ceo of voyager he actually emailed me he actually replied what's your ticket number so i replied Thank you for caring. Every time I fill out the form, I never receive a ticket number. I just receive a transaction. So I gave my transaction number one hour still pending. Nothing was fixed here. And let me just go on where I just so you see that I am not the only one. There are probably hundreds of people that actually have the same problem. And some people even have. OK, first of all, this guy replied to my DM and he said, it's been over 10 days as well. Please allow me to have access to my fund. This is extremely frustrating ticket number. I have cash in my account and I can't access. I have crypto I can't access. I'm losing gains big time. Imagine that. 
now let me go on their app if i go on invest voyager okay if i come here and i look look at their last tweet right that they made um like on april 1st if you go under the comment you will see that people keep saying I came here to tweet about a withdrawal, but it seems everyone is doing already. I just want my money for this bull run. I have deposit pending for weeks. This is jokes. In almost four days and still my USDT is pending. This is absolutely ridiculous. People are losing capital. People are really, really losing money because of that. And when we sign up to Voyager, we don't know that this is going to be an issue. And, and this guy is making a point. He said, has anybody received their withdrawal or is still pending like mine? I'm starting to think this company is going under and we are going and we are being robbed. This is scary and sad. And this is really scary and sad because the goal of this decentralization was to remove that middleman or at least to make things faster than the bank or the traditional financial system. And they're really doing the opposite this guy his usdc it's been 72 hours and counting so i am not the only one hundreds and thousands of people are having the problem he says yes voyage is not locking us out or refusing to let us transfer money they are screwed as i think the sec really needs to check out this app i think if you don't have enough stuff to take care of people request or complain don't take more people in fix first the issue with the people that you have and they can't even let me into my account three weeks later three imagine someone has money in their account in their account three weeks later they still don't have access to their account in this bull run i think they're taking people money they're probably lending that out, trying to make money in the back of other people, money or crypto. And I think this is not cool. I think we need to start a movement to, uh, against this for real. And this guy says it's been 12 days since March 23rd, seven hours ago of transfer problem. And then he has over 7,500 pending or processing deposit that Voyager will not allow them to touch. Imagine the frustration. Okay, this is so 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 frustrating. You see, under their comment, everybody says everybody still complain about their thing. Six days now, absolutely unbelievable. It's been two to three days. It's been five days. It's been three days. So, people, 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 be careful. This is not a hate video, but be careful. My Litecoin transfer has been pending for seven days straight seven days straight mine is five days but other people have 12 days seven days other people weeks so be careful transfer pending for five and a half days please help look at people they have transfer pending for five and a half days i think people are real the people that got in they're realizing that it's not the best app and they're really trying to get out really i think the, voyager if you if you see this video you really need to fix your, your issue because i'm thinking about just selling all my um, all my crypto and get out of this app because that that is that is scary it's really really scary this guy has been locked out of his account for almost three weeks three weeks he's saying you're stealing our money at this point look at the, all the comments and i think something is going on with voyager because for example he says any idea why your team will block me i reached out for help but ended up blocked and very nervous this girl also says yeah they blocked me from my other account anyone who complains about their withdrawal not going through get blocks super unethical I think you got to be careful, very, very, very careful with this app. Now I'm starting to be really afraid of all the money that I've put on this app. Um, I think the reason why Voyager is taking so much time to actually deliver your crypto or send you that when you request is because if you go on crypto interest, you actually see that they actually say if you deposit crypto on their platform they are going for example ether it's 5.25 percent that you earn 
on that crypto and i think what they're doing is that they're taking your crypto and then they're lending that to other people for you to be able to make this return and because they're lending that it's not easily available if you're trying to request that to your wallet so this is really annoying and i think and i think if you if you want to probably get your crypto faster you probably need to click here i want to up I think it's not cool from Voyager to not be transparent what about what they're doing with your with your coins or with your crypto and why they're taking so long to be able to deliver their crypto. And on each withdrawal, they're saying that all withdrawal are subject to review and may take up to 24 hours, but it's been more than 48 hours, nothing has been delivered. So frustrated. My point was just to warn you about the Voyager app. Be careful about putting your crypto in there, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum, and wanting to transfer that just to take advantage of the market. I hope that was helpful. This is not a hit video because I have other coins on Voyager that I hold, but I think I did not know everything about the app before I started putting my money there. Until next time, take care of yourself to the moon. Peace.